Dave got one that died, now we're down to one again. But Cody is has got a new job and he's doing really, really well. Oh, so they went out and they got another car. So now there are two cars and he said, What do you want me to do with the cruiser? I'm like, It's yours. Sell it. And he said, You don't want it back? And I said, Do you need the money for the flight? Because mom were okay to have the car back. Yes. So he's going to give it back to us, and he's oh, getting it all so tuned cool. up. Yeah. And we're going to wow. drive up well, yeah, we could on good. Like, Way to the go. Twenty first of September to pick it up. Yeah. Lene is coming yeah. down. Lene is finishing her doctor. Cody's wife. And she's getting ready to do her residency, so she has to come. Wow. Yeah. To Phoenix. If she would to Grand Canyon she would University so the more room makes you to discuss yeah, with yeah, some kind of meeting so prior to residency or something. So she has to come from Vegas to Phoenix to do this. She they comes in September, then we're going to drive her back to Vegas. So she's flying to Phoenix, we'll drive back and we'll drive home with my car. And then I can come over. Good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I'll, I'll have oh, yes. transportation. <laughs> and she has a house. And I'll be housebound. Yeah, to herself. Ooh, I didn't know you were housebound. Yeah. Well, and just and not having a car. Away, yeah. Like, it, part of it's gone. Right. It goes yeah. to work with him. And and when you do this stuff, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. That's depressing. That's depressing. It's like. It was the hardest thing so in the world for us to give up our driver's yeah, license. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. you know what? We it tears you up. We, yeah. to be so 
dependent. You, you, you say it's bad to lose your eyesight, but to lose your independence is devastating. Oh, I just can't imagine. Well, you have, and you, ha you either have to wait and yeah. wait and wait, oh, or you feel yeah. obligated to pay somebody or beg somebody. <laughs> Wait till somebody, somebody offers, says, it offers to you. Yeah. Well, the thing that, and, and it's terrible because it, it just takes something out of you. Oh, yeah. But, but yet, you, and, and you have to be careful because you can't, you know, use your friends all the time. They get tired of you know, because we're so needy. Yeah. Yeah. And there's something about being able to go where you want, when you want. It. By yourself. Yeah. You say, you know, oh, gee, I thought I'd going to talk. Hazel likes decision, to go, go, go. It won't grow here. And so she likes to have people to around her all the time. We're more homebodies. Home body. I'm that way too. Are you that way too? You're a homebody? Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I, I have people <laughs> like when so Brenda, Brenda's group was going to China. She didn't really want to go. Well, they they went to, they did. France and Italy and whatever's north of Italy. And they yeah, said, you know, you got to go. And I was like, I didn't want to go. And they said, well, you know, we had this business together. And they're like, well, what do you want? What do you want to do with the? You know, you got this money coming to you. And they, we almost kind of like traveling for free. And I said, I want carpet. <laughs> So they gave me the money, I stayed home, I got my carpet, and that's what I wanted. And then, the next year was China, and I did go to China, and I loved it. Oh, okay, I'll tell you. I really loved it. Okay. And then we went to Europe the year after that. I hear China is really trying the law. I don't want it. He still oh, liked to travel, but it's not your thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like your product. I just I love it. Now I have to have a travel buddy. I can't do it alone. I need somebody with eyes. Yeah. I think these kids are talking and, about um, And then I feel obligated to help, you know, financially. Mm -hmm. And so it's a really crazy thing. Mm -hmm. Dave and his buddies just went to Mexico last week. They go every year to scuba dive. I call it their man trip where they get to eat what they kill, scratch where they itch, and burp and fart at will. Every day. So he, he was gone for about four or five days. You, the, the and I had the car. Event for little boys is I didn't need to the snow. <laughs> I went to the Circle K to get my soda. And then right back home. So and I worked boy. in the house. I organized drawers. <laughs> Mom, you would have been so proud. <laughs> oh, good girl. I put shelves up. And and just did what you, yeah. what, do. what you felt like doing. Not and what I wanted to expected you to do. When I got dizzy, yeah. I sat down until I drank some water, more yeah. coke. Oh. <laughs> when you felt <laughs> like, yeah. You know, no, and this I haven't done forever. I stayed up all night. Oh, and don't you like I didn't go to sleep that. until... Did you watch movies? No, I worked. Mm -hmm. I just worked in the house. I organized my kitchen and I hung some shelves up in the closet. I can't believe what you do. She works the house. Yeah, she does a good job. You know, I just... It was kind of funny when she, when she <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> when she tried to paint, that was kind of funny. Oh, <laughs> that yeah. cleaning, but painting was not her strong suit. Yeah, you, know, <laughs> you know there's paint on the ceiling. Yeah. It should be on the wall, but it's on the ceiling and the floor. <laughs> but she did it herself. I push your dad in get him all settled in a chair yeah. and, and drag in now. real so quiet the ladder and the paint old. stuff. We were, we were and then he'd <laughs> get up and at say, the day we were leaving, out, and he said, said you did Mexico it again, didn't you? And <laughs> we were carrying this <laughs> luggage down the stairs <laughs> and there was I ice. Sleep and sleep and and I just and get up she and said, Robert, I think I broke my ankle. What do you do? Think? 
maybe clean out the cupboard or wash your wall. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I guess. Yeah, something like that. Clean my oven. Mm -hmm. something. I got into my oven and see, and they said you need surgery. And they said, what? You ate breakfast? This is terrible. I don't know. Yes, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. about John so being so in the house. She's in surgery. I cleaned when I wanted to. I ate when I wanted to. There was no schedule. You know, you've got to get this done before you do this. Do you think that happens? So the doors open to that you. I would love it. Like this. Yeah, and yeah, it's warm cool. inside, freezing cold your outside, and fog your wife is gone. Yeah, but and, then you have the house, house to yourself. Oh, yeah. 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 I watch what I want to watch on TV, take my breaks when I want to. I don't have to say, hey, I'm going downstairs. Do you want anything? Uh -huh. Can I get you something? That sounds familiar. <laughs> nope. I get what I want. Bring it all upstairs. Like he said, I can hold it. Oh, stay in bed. You stay in bed. You know, I, I you want to take a nap. You take a nap. Or except until you get a little puppy that decides oh, to get up at five, five. <laughs> six o'clock at the bed. Yeah, you need one job. like. Like you guys got for mom. Yeah. I am so <laughs> done with animals. I never thought I would be. Ever. I am, I have picked up my last turd. I am not doing it anymore. You're not going to get another no. dog? No. No. No, 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 no. I don't want to take care of it. I don't want to feed it. Yeah. I, if I want to pet something, I'll go, no. <laughs> I'm done. I know, that's yeah. what scares me. It takes a lot I of think energy, I, a lot of I think I'm going to try one more time, but mm -hmm. to get somebody to take it to the groomer or the vet, I just, it no. would just complicate see, my life. I always felt like every dog we ever had, we yeah. had <laughs> until we had to make that decision to put it to sleep. I can't. If I like, in the remember, I don't know if you remember Eddie. We had this little poodle named Eddie, I think I put them both and the some boy gave it to Sarah, and it had to be a puppy mill puppy. But it, he was crazy. He bit. He would have these rages, and I was so afraid he was going to get one of the grandkids in his in the face or something. And they all, we had, there's Annie, Cricket, and Mean Dog. <laughs> Annie yeah. Cricket and, and Mean Dog. Dog. Yeah, and they had to stay and away from Mean Dog. But we still, we had him for 14 years. Because I can't, you know, well, animals, you don't know, just take them in so there. But I can't do that. <laughs> I know if I get some animal and hate it, I'll still have to keep it. That's right, that's yeah. right. I mean, you don't need yeah. it. Yeah. I guess I don't even want to do it. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. I just take my cat. She's okay. Oh, okay. I take my cat. Oh, okay. Amy Jo here. Yeah. Do you like Amy, Amy Jo? Huh? I love Amy Jo. She's awesome. Alice, you knew what was good. I know. <laughs> Did I tell you last year they gave me a dog? Yeah. <laughs> now you have one of each. You don't need anything. <laughs> I won't even yeah. get a goldfish anymore. I want to no. <laughs> no, I'm finished with the fish. No. Oh, we had every kind of animal well, because of my boys. Oh, okay. And I put my foot down when Tell oh. Brenda about a guy called well, here in our in our Spanish. That I do. Mm -hmm. He called from the U.S. Open. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're friends on Facebook now. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Well, he was on the U.S. Open tennis on ESPN. Cool. And he was right with the camera. I've done conversations. Watch him. He says, Mom, he called. He said, Mom, turn on ESPN because I'm there. He says, you can see everything. You can see me picking my nose and everything. I'm on camera. That's cool. <laughs> Boy, that little hope is huh? something so else. Isn't she beautiful? Oh, yeah. yeah. What an amazing she, girl. Yeah. She's living in New York now. They, they got an apartment for her. An adventure she's been on. The what? Adventure she's been on. She has she studied so all over. She is. 
several so countries. She is studying. No. <laughs> and um, do you remember someone? When she was in school, yeah, she, she made like straight A's in school. First of all, is that she's brilliant. And her eyes are like this. Yeah. That's how big her eyes are. One eye. It's not colloquial. They are the most striking eyes you've ever seen. And with some of the like just calls and stuff we do, a lot of them is code. Thank you. And she's funny. Because they're trying to send messages. And Guy is funny. Yeah, he is. On that large family website thing, those pictures, Okay, somebody posted, found these pictures oh, yes. that they I said Oliva and Clint gave these to my mom when they were in Florida, when they got back from being in Florida. And they talked about them living in Florida and they bought these, got these two pictures or paintings. And they don't look like they're very big, but it's hard to tell size, but they look like they might be like It this. almost looks like a bubble glass yes. or, or round glass. Okay, but what about? And, and I think they gave, they bought these pictures and they gave them to, I want to say, is it Oliva or Sarah? I don't know. One of the sisters got these pictures from Oliva and Clint. I know where they came from because Mom told me. Where Mom had them stored at Grandma's in the attic, and when she went to go get them, they were gone. Oh, well. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, there were two pictures. Yeah. I thought they were right. beautiful. Yeah, they were neat. Then, yeah. Was well, the, the other picture that oh, your uh, 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 mom talked about was a picture of a that big, and they said that it was a portrait of oh. our great great grandfather who was born. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Well, what time? Uh, and then you went to What do you see? You Nice book of her phone. Oh, my Ella collects books. She's got more books than any of my books. I've got this one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she has a good and they're beautiful. This is my Hong Kong's pocketbook. It's a knockoff. Oh, nice. Definite knockoff. <laughs> Hello. That's what my grandmother says. Pills and tips to keep us alive. Yeah. Is it med time? Hmm? Is it med time? No. What is it? Blood pressure, antidepressant, my eye vitamin. Doctor said to be on eye vitamins. A water pill, arthritis pill. Oh, goodness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> and a vitamin. And a vitamin. <laughs> I take a bunch. I take a morning and the night. The one. I only take, I take them all in the evening. Do you? So it can, because some of them make me sick to my stomach. No, it's on your. And so if I can sleep, I just sleep through it by the time I wake up. But then this other medicine. I can't wake up. Oh, it's so hard. I tried. You know, vitamins. Mm -hmm. What? I always get the gel ones. Or the gummy bears. Yeah, which is good. I want the gummy bears, but they cost so much. I, uh, I can't get past the smell. It, and then when I swallow them, I get sick to my stomach. I threw mine away this morning. Did you? Yeah, you did. When I says, what's those pills over there? I mean, one of you got your pills. Well, it's just different. Yeah. And I can take the little ones all at once. That's it. I take calcium, too. You guys take calcium? Yeah. I had the bone density. Did you have bone density? Yes. Same here. And mine's already shrunk. Mine was okay. Mine's good. We got really good brooms, Brenda. Not good bones. <laughs> good heritage. And we all have good hair. We all have good hair. We all have pretty eyes. That is true. Have you ever seen a ball? Even the men have good hair. Yeah. 
Pemberton's. Yeah, yeah, we always called it the Pemberton's. Because we'd go to the hairdresser and they said, Oh, you have thick hair. <laughs> Every time I go, <laughs> Pemberton Every time I go, you've got so much hair. Yeah. Thick. Did you see Courtney's beautiful hairstyle? Yeah, she did that herself. I am going to try that. She's cute. What she did, you know, see I have a tight braid. Mm -hmm. I can put it down here, I put it up here, and I put it on the side and have it down. That hair. I put it up here and instead of braiding it tight like this, she softly just did it braided it. And then the end she brought underneath and bend it. Cut that beautiful. It was have her show, her, show you how to do it. I, I think I, I, I had her look. I, she had good vision from here over. Like, not the halfway. But around here, uh -huh. had real good vision. Oh, good. But the rest, forget it. <laughs> Sometimes I try to do things on the side, just in case. Yes. <laughs> it would drive me crazy. I know. It does. I, you know, I, I just say cut my hair, but don't make me look like a boy. No, no, she, she did give me a straight. I like to be I love it. 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 I didn't hear that. You're a survivor. Yes. Me? You. Yes. And, and that's that's as much in your DNA as anything. And if we had all been Jews and we were all in Auschwitz, you would have worked out. <laughs> you would have been the one that was left, the one that people say, yes, I survived my whole family died. No, she would have walked out. Don't, don't they call those the matriarch? I don't know. Is she our matriarch? She is tough. Yeah. Yeah. You are this cause I love you guys. Yeah. <laughs> you, 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 I have the best women in my life. <laughs> no, she was my mama. She, she taught me. She taught me so much because my mother never took time for me. She carried me around. She nursed me when I was sick. She taught me stories. She taught me how to clean. So, from you to you, how many years? Are there? well, there's four and a half years between Hazel and I. And I still play the Sphinx. She's 86. 86. You'll be 86. And I'm 74. And I'm 74. 84. 10. So you were about 12? Yeah. When Ella was born? So you weren't around that much longer. No, I don't, I don't remember her. She, she moved to, your mom was on her own. Yeah. When she was really well, that's young, what I mean about she was a survivor. She could, she could do it. She left, us and she was living from person house to person's house on cheese and bread. She, my boss tried to write me. I had so I missed her so much, and I would visit her in her little apartment that she had. And she, I just have beautiful memories of her when I would. When you lived in that one apartment with the thousand uh, stairs to get to, I remember going in there as a little girl, Edgar and I, we would break your closet, you let us put on your clothes, and I wore your heels, and I got all She just was a mom. She wasn't our big sister. She was mother, mother Loretta. When I think about now as an adult woman with grown children and I look back, I'm watching my kids go through it now with their kids and Steve and Jen are raising five and Katie is due with her fourth in a couple of months. 
And they have some good singers. So your mom had six kids in twelve years. And she couldn't have raised you. I mean, she had to have help. She, she cooked. She cooked and hand ironed and the house was laundry by hand. No I spent the night running water one time, and I don't remember which house. You and I were sharing a room upstairs that had the screen that was kind of out, and we got eaten alive by mosquitoes upstairs. And I don't remember which house, but I remember it always seemed really dark. Yeah. And I remember when I woke up and came downstairs, Grandma had been up cooking breakfast since who knows how long. And Grandpa, Grandpa cooked. On Saturday, Dad always made biscuits and gravy. Dad, Dad. 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 And what he did was he always had an uh, over easy egg and he'd dip it in his toast and put it down with the cat. So the cat knew every day he got a piece of bread with egg on kids. Mm -hmm. We terrorized that cat. Yes, we did. No wonder. <laughs> so mean. I mean, that cat was so mean. It, it was terrible. It was dead. It was probably uh, <laughs> self defense. Yeah. Now yeah, I think about it. Yeah. Now's the time to tell the story about the dad's house. What's that? <laughs> we lived out in the country. <laughs> I was dead. You know our house, we didn't, we didn't have running water or electricity, and anyway, my father raised hound dogs, and he named them Queenie, Princess, and, du and King, and Duke. <laughs> We hated those dogs, but we had to ex. It was our job to let one of them exercise every day. Well, we let had this one hound dog out. We were playing a game, and when we do that, dog would chase us and knock us down, and we got tired of it. So we we shut him up in the outhouse. Well, it wasn't long. He's howling and howling, and mom comes running out. What's wrong? I said, well, we put the, the dog in the outhouse so that he wouldn't run and jump on us and uh, we were tired of it. She said, get that dog out of there. Well, the dog fell in the toilet. Oh, we had to retrieve that dumb hound dog. Well, once he got out of that, that toilet hole, he was so happy to be out of there. That oh, he had to wiggle and jump all over you. You were too little. You were too little. But anyway. We had to wash that dog up and wash down the whole outhouse before Dad got home. Because oh my word, he would have beat us. He would have beat us to death because he loved As those mom. dogs. Do you, you don't remember. Dogs is, and beatings aside, I would have made you clean up. No, and I wash the dog too. I hated those dogs too. I did too. You know what he did to me? He sick those dogs on my cats. Oh my gosh. It was horrible. <laughs> Our yeah, father was something. You know what? It's so funny no because I ran away. <laughs> I loved him like I know because he, he you know why? Let me tell you. He did love you. Do you know I remember he loved riding you. on his shoulders and picking raspberries and blackberries with yeah. him? You know, Brenda, I had not seen him for years. And the day he knocked on the door to, to bring you that little swing, as much as I disliked my dad, I was so glad to show oh you good all. He did carry what? you around. Yeah. And I and showed you all to everybody. Yeah. So I Andy felt girl, nothing. Andy, Andy girl. girl. Yep. I felt nothing. Yeah. Never felt anything but love from was, him. And you, know, you guys talk about well, how he was he was like that, that person me and yes. with all of us when we were little. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But once we so got around once you weren't the baby, uh huh. It was all hell after that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he never Ella was if I complained at all that Ella's not doing anything, she's good. Which I can't do it. She's good because the rules he don't would say, here. He'd say, he'd say, you leave my baby alone. She's okay, you leave my baby. And that's how it was. Man. And that's just how it was with the baby, right? 
So it's okay. And, and Alan and I did about twelve. Then mm he -hmm. started. Mm -hmm. on yeah, then he started in on Alan. As soon as she became a young lady. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. But he loved you. He did. Old I enough to that. argue back. He didn't like anybody yeah, like having that. anybody that had their own mind. Mm -hmm. Yes, oh, that no. more or less that's it. Yeah. I don't think you heard when I was a little girl, I was around five years old. I used to run away from home. And I Mom was, told me a story. Yeah, about I from ran over to happened. the Clark yeah. family and they. This was early in the morning, three, four o'clock in the morning, when Dad would get up. And before the Clark family realized I was doing that, I used to run over there, and I was cold because I'd run over there winter. Early, even Sometimes early all she summer. had on was a pair of panties. And so they had three big dogs, so I laid with the dogs, and they covered me up. Yeah. And kept me warm. And I always said that's because I, I always had boring so I don't know whether it was the bath water, because I was the youngest. <laughs> And you guys peed in it. She always got the bath the last. Or it was a dog. White sugar. No, she. She's not fibbing at all. That's how it was for her. She was that. Actually, she was like Tarzan Jane. Tarzan Jane. Scary house. Screaming and yelling, and Dad would. He, he, he was, was beaten most of all. Oh, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you see, like, but she channeled. But see, she doesn't remember <laughs> that v me and Vic were the first ones in here. He practiced on us. I can remember in the high chair at two years old, being oh beaten at two years old. So all I had all those years before you guys were in He was tired by the time we got to you. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. And I used to hide underneath the table. Edgar and I did. And Edgar would say, tell me, don't say anything, be quiet, be quiet. She wouldn't say anything. I told that to him. <laughs> no, just so that I said, yeah, so yeah, yeah. The good for you. you feel like yeah. it. Exactly. How about this um, side, I'd say to him. Well, how about over here? Junk food That's what I do. You are little, but you were spunky. But yeah. see, she, he so was strong. Like, oh, he yeah. was strong. <laughs> Yeah. He wasn't in his right mind. He wasn't in his for a long time. And his, his brother, see his dad died when he was just a little boy. Well, he was raised by a brother who was abusive. That and sent him to the mines. Uncle Dude. And he sent him to the mines, the coal mines, when he was 12 years old. Eleven. All day. Eleven. 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 He was 11. Oh. And the coal mine to the You know, and then, um, anybody that's filled with that much anger like and hostility, eggs, take it out on children. He couldn't be could happy. Oh, yeah. That's not a happy thing. Oh, yeah. 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 That miserable. Yeah. 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 I think it might be small and <coughs> dad <coughs> had a fourth grade education, oh, third fourth oh, grade education. <laughs> And I, it's the way they were brought up. Right. Oh, yes. They didn't know. They were ignorant. So, yeah, they were. It wasn't until after Dad died that Mom was pretty bright about what was going on. Yeah, she was sharp. Yeah. 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 She was I worked, fun. At, the, I worked yeah. at the school for 15 years, and none of my teacher's friends could spell like our mother. Because our mother read, yeah. and she could spell anything. Mm -hmm. I used to go. I used to go to. Um, <laughs> none of us can hear anymore. We can't see. Um, <laughs> I love it. You just go in our little hungry way. Um, when <laughs> af after Poppy died and Grandma Lee and Marion for a while, I just remember her apartment. She lived in an apartment above somebody's garage and she had it all fixed up. And I used to drop by on my way home from school with 
That was my beautiful friend. Oh, it was so much fun. And she'd always have something for us, you know, peanut butter and jelly, peanut butter cookies, you know, or whatever. And she even showed me, well, here's where the key is. Because she was, I think she was cleaning houses at the time. Yeah, she was. She said, if you ever need to stop in, here's the key. And so we used, I used to use the key. So when it was this going to the bathroom, going to the bathroom, and it was my grandma's house, and always respected it. That's you great. know, I mean, I'm, you know, it was just a privilege to be there. Oh, oh, so he loved it. He loved it. Mm -hmm. He carried that swing in. He was just like, you want to see me? Oh, I know how we found it. Mm -hmm. we're, we're, we're doing a oh, You know, I had been mad at him all those years. And so I searched YouTube for... It, um, I look on his face. And after you're away from home, he didn't have power over you anymore. And, I and he didn't have it over you, and he didn't well, have it over you. You know, I didn't yeah. have my breakdown, I though, until after he died. Yeah. Because I never at, at the hearing, I'm scared, because he, all he has to do is go to like tears. And he did that to me when I was telling them what was happening, what he did to me. Mm -hmm. And that's all he did. He didn't say anything. He just went. So I always thought the doorbell would ring. And I would open I don't the door and he'd kill me and my kids. I always thought that. So once he died, she, I had to throw him in the down. Being relieved. Got me yeah, right. yeah, he yeah I never thought about that, that the threat that would show up. Because uh, see, he had to be taken away in a straight jacket. Yeah, I chased him. Yeah. Hmm? I remember, I heard that he, I didn't know this, but I heard that he chased Grandma. Nice. Yeah, he was going to kill us you know all. What? We that just discovered that. Uh, well, you, know what, you know what we just discovered? What's that? Oh, wow. Ella and I never Steve's cried at Dad's funeral. Really? Never shed a tear. Never shed a tear. Did With Hazel, it was just I tears did. of being relieved. I did. I cried. It was well, over. Yeah. I cried and cried. And I didn't have my mental right now until. Dad died. Wow. I yeah. came back from his funeral. After the funeral, I went. We drove back to Indiana, and it took me several days. I had dirty dishes everywhere in the house. I was feeding the kids. I hadn't bathed in two or three weeks, and my friend came over and said, "What is wrong with you?" And, and that's, that's when I, I went to the church, he has an sense of and they got me. He has one of the psychiatrist, there, and I could not talk. So, He'd I'm say, well, says, how many sisters and I'm brothers do you have? And so I'd have to artist. write it on a piece of paper and give it to him. I couldn't but even talk at that point. So, it was a hard time. But you know what? Hard time, but we it made it. It's like that's that's the way you heal. It's what? That's the way you, your brain heals. Yes. I think. Is it just, you know, and it seems like you stop. It's been about 30 by For a while, you bring you just to your new reality. You don't, you don't have to be in fear anymore. And that's a whole thing. It's a new way of life. Well, they call it a post traumatic stress syndrome. Absolutely. Like, he says as though you were in a concentration camp. That's what he said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if you can get it no, it's the same thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I or somehow I got around him as I got older. Which is what we did. Yeah. 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 You are. Oh, so you are very tough. You are making art. And, uh, and I, uh, it, the day I left so home, I was supposed to give you my tips. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
So I'm working in so this car he, home, has a potential and to, I bought a Woody Woodpecker record, and he broke it. That's low, and and when there's I like said, about 15 seconds I was so left mad, in the war, and he, you know, put in he beat me for something smart, lose. I said. And, you mm -hmm. get and I the said, highest bid right at the last you second. You can get it for me. Yeah, this is what it's like. You never do that to me again. And I ran out the back door and through the cornfield. And yeah, I so, so they just started it until so I heard the old Model A, oh, Model yeah, T yeah, coming yeah, after me, and I hide again, and he ne and I never saw him again. again. Mm -hmm. and, you, and she was just really little. Yes, and you were fifteen. Oh, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, she was so young she, when she left. I but hated. She, I cried so when she, but I, she left. But I, I understood yeah. that when she left. But you know, I said I had enough guts to go to the juvenile judge because he had a, a report on me from the school because I had bruises on my legs and my arms. And I said, if you send me back there, I'll run away again. I won't go it's back there. Do. <laughs> so that's when, and you won't believe this, I have a friend who needs a babysitter for two little girls. Oh yeah, he was. <laughs> and I used to say to Dad, something's wrong, Dan. Oh, he's my friend. He'd never do that. I should know. He's not right. Good. Yep. But you know, remember the pool parties they used to have? Oh yeah. yeah. The pool parties were great, especially when you were twelve. It was awesome. <laughs> and um, all the guys that used to play music there oh, were all yeah. friends we on Facebook Murray. now. Oh, good old Frank. Frank was awesome. Frank was like my brother of another mother. You know, and I think he kind of thought of his dad. So we if not a father figure, an older brother. By the yeah. police station. You know, Frank was like cool. Twenty police in there. But, um, we bought something. Donnie we Lister and credit card, so that was the only purchase. Um, Danny Hall and all those guys. Whoever was there at that thing, surrounded by. Wait, Donnie's a cool guy. Number. It was the employee because they wrote down the name. The Mur the did you know Murray committed suicide? I mean, no, I thought he had a heart yes. attack. They oh, maybe he got a message. Could be. Because well, you, you know who I'm also friends on Facebook with who? is Gloria. Who? Frank's Gloria. Gloria? Yeah. Yep. And you know, there's got to be wow. some way. But she could look at Facebook on TV or She could. Well, I think well, Bob set up an account, but I think some of her friends yeah. said yeah. that it was like, it's how they get your IDs or something. But it's, Facebook is It's hard for us to see Facebook. You so told me to go to Facebook and see the pictures. I got, I brought it up. I brought it up. I'll tell you, I can't see it. Can you know, you can't see it. We tried to look at it. Mm -hmm. And you know, in that big TV that I have, I can't see the, all the numbers. For some reason, uh, the numbers turns into Arabic. I mean, the letters, even big letters on the TV, turns into Arabic. You don't understand. Yes, I do. I understand because see, you depth perceptions of like right. right. to, to read my TV and I have a TV it's it's I don't know what the size is yeah. it's like 75 inch big one it, it is it covers my can you see no it's, it's close to 90 on your TV? Yeah. Well, see, it puts letters big, but what I have to do is take one letter at a time. And so if it's on the screen, and then I have to say T H, and it could be T H E M, it could be T H E I R. But you go one more letter, and then you kind of, in your mind, you say, well, it's there. And then you, you, you just, then if it's M E N, you think, well, mint, and it's so one letter at a time. Yeah. It's a room. Tell we're in the hot movie but we're going to watch. Oh. Have you seen okay. the Dragonfly with yeah. Kevin Costner? Oh, I love Kevin Costner. I know you're going to love this if you see it because it is. You do not know what's going to happen. 
And nobody can tell you about it. I will find it. I will find it either on I just got it and took it over to Vera because Loretta wanted to see it. And another one I got is the book. Oh, it's it's a there. It's real risque. Oh, I'm good. I, I'm good with this. Well, are you okay with this? Oh, but but let me tell you what. We were rolling on the floor. It is so oh, finished. Okay. Did the book help? Yes, I did. Don't tell her. Don't tell us. <laughs> I, I started in and see they have all the books and they said, oh, read it. So the bestseller, I said, oh, okay. So I get the book and I'm re reading it. I think, huh, huh. <laughs> and, I, and I shut the book and I said, that book is not for me. <laughs> I kept saying, what are we going to do next? <laughs> But one of the one that plays Murphy from the uh, one that plays Murphy. Candace Bond. Yes, I love it. Uh, I forgot the other two. Yeah. Anyways, they belong to a book club, and Jane Fonda brings Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, and then Jane Fonda is the rich, uh, rich bitch. Yes, yeah, she's the one. She's a she's a judge. Yeah. Well, no, no, Murphy no, 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 no. Brown is, is, is Murphy yeah. Brown's the judge. Yeah, yeah. Brown's yeah. his friend. <laughs> and see, the other one just lost her husband. Yeah. And the one, uh, and, and she, and she just. <laughs> it is so funny. She, her love life funny. wasn't very good. Let's yeah. just say. So there's only one that's married. The other yeah. three aren't. Yeah. And here's the thing. The, 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 I thought it was real funny because the judge said, "Oh, now listen, ladies. You know it's not mine. He's, I'm not interested in that." Forget it. So and they all leave, the and she takes up the book. She gets a, a yellow highlighter. Like she <laughs> had it in all my parts. The fish department. It is hard. And they took us there to the same book club. We went up to the court, and she took us there. We're talking about the book club. Oh. <laughs> I was working in a doctor's office. If you thought it was she was talking to him, they're all busy. I was working at the doctor's office, and there was a girl sitting next to me. She goes, I could never read that book. Never, 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 never. And I just sat there kind of quiet, and she goes, Would you? I was like, I really have. And a patient was at the window, and she goes, oh, I have part two and three, do you want them? And I'm like, yeah. And Kenna was just horrified. I would do that. She had the retail room to how I got it. Yeah. I heard everybody so in the neighborhood was get, reading this book, uh -huh. and they said, oh, Loretta, you want to read this book? And I said, oh, I wish I could. And they said, well, call folks for the blind and see if they have it. So I called them, and they said, well, we have it, but you have to request it. And I said, oh, I requested it. <laughs> I can't imagine being the person that had to read that on a tape. <laughs> what a picture in your you mind! Know, I mean, she was up for days. <laughs> Do you read it with ex? Russian? <laughs> or you just painfully do one word but pain might be a oh, oh, so good dark. Oh, I could I could never read the other two volumes. Well see and and that, that, I'll fit I all three books. It, 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 I read, I it was fifty two hours to read all three books. It was his brother. Well, see, John had been sick a long time, right? <laughs> and then Emma said, oh, yeah, that's a good book. Three, so I, I start reading it, and I said, oh, my God. <laughs> it was just, how can it not turn somebody on? So, you know, <laughs> right? I mean, how could it not? It's really something. <laughs> what is, do you know Dr. Oz gave that book to his 
whole audience. Did you know that story? I'm not surprised. That and um, then uh, it was it was a year or so later. Here were all these there young mothers sitting on Dr. Oz's stage, and they were holding newborns. You know what they were called? Grabies. <laughs> I believe it. Oh my goodness, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it, it worked. The book worked. It, it worked. Yeah, that's it why I shut the book. I mean, oh, he that, knew that what he was doing. Yes. Because he's in trouble getting there. I have to wait till he takes this another turn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's hilarious. Oh, yes. Yes. It is. It's hilarious. So, yes, you're going to love this book. Yeah. And I book one the book. I'm not kidding. All yeah. of its drugs. There's it's one part yeah. where we remember the yeah. one lady who decides to so get her husband more interested in her. Yes, yes, yes. And so not she slips in but, some you know, Viagra. I think we went out of one little. Oh, no. Then okay. gets stopped by a cop car. Yes! <laughs> Told him to get out of the so car. <laughs> 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 it is so funny. I like it. You can't stop laughing. It, it is a little girl cop. Oh, leans over in the car. He's, he's, he's has a good son, honey. <laughs> Would you guys like more margaritas? <laughs> oh, heaven forbid. <laughs> it's a good story. <laughs> you, Bob, you've got to see the book club. We're talking about that. The movie, the, movie, the, book, the book club? club? Yes. yes. The book club. Okay. It's it is, is, is it on Netflix? You yes, gotta I'm sure it is. No? No? no, it's not on Netflix what? yet because it just came out okay. not too long ago. The Netflix don't do that right away. Mine's not going okay. until the 28th and I hope she's yeah. here. What's the one with Jane Fonda that's and the one. Lily that's Tomlin? Oh, oh that's Tomlin. Grace, no, not Grace and Frankie. Yes. yes. Yeah. That, I'm, that's I'm just hilarious. Now, I'm, I'm just now watching that. <laughs> that's hilarious. To, the, the, I both of those husbands to come out and say, we're going to get married. Yes. <laughs> yes, I know. That, it's funny. But I'll have to show you guys that. Oh, okay. Grace and Frankie's yes. relationship yes. and see any two of you going through that. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> I had one of my older friends over. Uh, she's uh, 89 years old. And that, it, we started to watch it. She wasn't too happy. <laughs> Do happen, oh, no. Too prim and proper. Yeah. The old, the old oh, one dear. was getting <laughs> very <laughs> tired. Is it? Oh, uh, <laughs> you take so me home. Jane okay, Palmer okay. Is, uh, <laughs> oh, I love that lady. Yeah, I kind of like her. <laughs> <laughs> she corrupted me earlier. Oh, we had some good laughs there, didn't we? Oh. You did teach me that sex is to be enjoyed. But wait till you marry.